Ray and Kylo out in the desert, you know, just um, using their force powers to. There's a there's a ship with Chewbacca on it. They captured the the Knights of Ren, captured Chewbacca, and um, they and they're and they're shipping him off to to the Empire to the to the bad guys. And Kylo and Ren are. Um, just fucking using uh, they got their hands out and they're trying to fucking keep the the, the, the um, security prison van from uh, leaving the driveway uh, and one guy's on the one side and this guy's on the other side and they're just fucking both going at it and you know their acting is on you know it's fucking great their faces they're just gritting their teeth um, and the thing fucking explodes and um I'll take over from this part because before that, uh, before they got to this scene, they were at some uh, intergalactic Burning Man desert shit, and um, it, it was fun. It was festive. It brought some some joy because it's Star Wars, right? It's like you're watching what six, nine movies about war. War. If there's war, there has to be fighting. So it's and all these movies. It's Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones. It's very few and far between where you get to see the celebratory festive party right so i was very happy to see um even though i hate burning man and shit like that uh they got to they got to party for a second you know see a puppet show <clears throat> so i'll 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 rewrite the the uh this is fan fiction by the way this isn't a review so the 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 space prison shuttle wasn't that far off the ground okay so um this is where Ray shoots fucking um, uh, electricity out of her fingertips to explode the, the thing. She didn't know she was the, the granddaughter of the em Emperor. And the thing fucking explodes in the flames. And um, in my version, it wasn't in the daytime. It was like as the sun was setting. So it's like magic hour, like dusk. And uh, it's dark outside, but not quite, you know. So out of that, you see Chewbacca furball just explode out of the thing on fire and he hits the ground from like let's say three stories up and then he gets up and you just see this fucking wookie on fire with the sun setting behind him i mean check out that imagery just a fucking wookie on fire somebody paint that please and so you got this wookie on fire um, running through the desert as the sun is setting and then he stop drops and rolls and and now there's all this uh smoke coming off of him smells like a dead cat you know and then finn and ray and everyone grabs him and gets him on the shuttle and now you have this character that we've all come to to love over the years we know what he looks like because he looks the fucking you know like lando's fat and, and everyone looks fat and old but chewbacca fucking svelte looks exactly the same in the last movie as he did in the first one has not aged at all so you ever see those dogs um, when they shave them? How different they look? Those wrinkly dogs, or it's like shocking when you see like a big poofy animal and they shave it down and it's like this thing. So uh, for the imagery, because I'm an artist and I'm a visual person, you finally get to see what color Chewbacca's skin is under all that, you know. And, and you know, this is to say, there's someone that's been overlooked, second-class citizen, minimized treated like shit like like the like the mexican gardener like the the immigrant the fucking illegal alien and that's fucking chewbacca that's fucking chewbacca give this fucker some love give this motherfucker some love okay so he falls out of the fucking space shuttle he's on fire he's running through the desert ray and finn and and poe they all get you know get him onto that ship and um you can see for the first time the fur on his face is sort of burnt off and they got all those like uh doctor robots just working on him trying to trying to uh, get his burns down to make sure he doesn't die and so this is the first time you see chewbacca's skin color and he's a white guy under there <laughs> no fuck it i i uh i i want to rewrite my fan fiction he's asian chewbacca is <laughs> after all He's Asian. I'm in a room laughing to myself, by the way. <laughs> All right.
so chewbacca is fucking asian so you see his yellow skin and you see that his eyes are a little bit slanted and actually the fur the heavy fur on his face actually dragged his face down to make them look like they weren't slanted but now that the the weight of the fur is mur uh, burned off his eyes are uh, sort of uh, point a little bit upwards a little slant eye there in this movie they show him playing that that space star wars chess game with uh finn and, and poe and they're like are you gonna make a move already and they're like this guy has been alive for like 250 i don't know how old uh, wookies get I, I don't think it's the same as uh yoda's race but th they live like hundreds of years like chewbacca i guess they're implying he's like 200 300 years old so he's had time so they land back at the re rebellion base in the jungle and um he finds out that princess leia is dead I mean, did you see that scene where he drops on his knees and that, that, I mean, I can't even do it, but I cried in the theater because all of my fucking friends are dead, murdered, murdered and killed, slashed, shot, stabbed, dead, and I fucking wept. Who the fuck doesn't love Chewbacca? Kids love Chewbacca, old like the new fans, the old fans, everyone, the casual fans. Chewbacca's a fucking pimp. Everyone loves Chewbacca. He falls on his fucking knees and cries and screams like the uh, Furiosa falling on her knees and screaming in, in uh, Mad Max. Now you have this Chewbacca who looks fucking cyberpunk, Mad Max. I don't know what the term is. Uh, steampunk? No, no, no. It's just, he looks fucking gnarly. So some of his hair is like burnt together. So it's like dreadlocky. And then like, you know, when girls shave that side of their head, I know hardcore fans of the show will remember when I used to talk about that. He sort of has that look going. So it's sort of like bangs hanging down one side. And then on one side, you see human, not human, but you see like flesh, like yellow Asian flesh. And then it's like, he looks fucking crazy, but like cool. And if there's an artist out there and you're drawing this, I want to see a fucking Chewbacca running through the desert on fire with the sun setting. And then another Chewbacca with like, when you go to a uh, reggae festival and you see one of those Jamaican guys that have like a dreadlock, that's just one giant dreadlock. So let's just say he has like a dreadlock mohawk, like the craziest looking hair you've ever seen on Chewbacca, like weird dreadlocks, mohawks. And then like every now and then like you see like like one arm is like still Chewbacca's furry arm but then the other arm is like like a human arm you know just flesh but like with uh, like Freddy Krueger style it's like melted and he just looks fucking gnarly and then you just I don't know you cut down the you just show the rest of the movie okay I, I'll get to my 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 piece I'll, I'll wrap this shit up okay you guys haven't heard from me in a while you don't want to hear fucking Star Wars review rewrite whatever Finn and the fucking Poe and Ray and this and that. It's like Finn is a fucking stormtrooper. Okay? Like this motherfucker, you know, I know he couldn't kill the family and whatever. And, and then he sees the black chick on the other island and, and she's like, We're used to be stormtroopers too. Why didn't they just fucking play that out and just be like, um We heard about you. We heard about the one fucking dude that quit being a stormtrooper and that gave us the courage and so now he leads a fucking ex stormtrooper rebellion and he's their fucking hero and they get all these and ugh, anyways I, that that's a whole other thing that they could have done it's like they could have really like you know brave hearted the shit out of that like just really made it emotional it's like this motherfucker used to be part of the empire he quit that had a ripple effect People started gossiping about it. They heard about it. Other stormtroopers were like, yeah, why are we killing other fuckers? Why are we killing people from these planets that don't do... Why are you killing innocent people? Let's fucking, you know. And then he starts another rebellion within the fucking Empire. and Or First Order, whatever the fuck, the bad guys. Anyways, so then Finn, Ray, and... and uh, oh my god, fucking Adam Driver is the only thing that saves this. I mean, how fucking awesome is that guy? Full fucking commitment to this, like... I mean, he's, he sell. I mean, without this guy, I mean, congrats to JJ or whoever casted him. Like, oh, it just, that guy's a real actor, man. Just full on commitment to this role. Thank you for doing that. 
So why did they do this? Why did they do that? They, they tried to have this emotional scene where people who are casual fans of Star Wars, they know that Chewie never got his medal. You know, second class citizen. He's the waiter. He's the driver. He's, he's the invisible. He's, he's us. He's a minority. You're there, but you're not there. And ah, all the Chewbacca noises. No one ever knows what the fuck he's saying except for Han. You're not a real person. You're, you don't speak English. He's all of us. He's a gook. He's a wetback. He's an N-word. He's not human. He's just there. He's a driver. He's driving Miss Daisy. They didn't give him a medal at the end. And so they try to fucking rewrite that shit and give him a medal. Fuck your medal. I don't need your fucking medal, you bitch. Give him the Millennium Falcon. Why the fuck does Ray have it? Give the fucking homie that's been down from day one. Give him the fucking keys. That's his fucking car now. You dumb motherfuckers. <sighs> so here he is. Fucking third degree burns all over his body, hair looking like a fucking cyberpunk, you know, jobless fucking reggae master. And he is gutted. His fucking friends are all dead. His fucking Leia's dead. Han is dead. Luke's dead. Like all the fuckers that he, you know, ride or died with are, are they're just fucking dead. And so he lets out this gut-roaring scream. And then, if you're gonna do montage, you know, they said at the end when all thousands of generations of Jedis came to Rey, and, you know, you heard all their voices to, to give her the power. Do a fucking montage of Chewie, okay? So it's like, Adam Driver and, and Rey and wh whatever the fuck their romance situation is, and I'm, I'm a good guy, I'm a bad guy, and all their angst and back and forth. <laughs> going after the emperor is he you know where did he come from how did he survive fuck all that okay it's just that shit still plays out but then you have chewbacca and then we just see chewbacca like he fucking was down do a montage of chewy starting with a star wars holiday special where you see itchy and scratchy or i don't know what the fuck the, all their names were but his family in the treehouse and then how all the wookies fucking stepped up to fight the empire in the prequels and then all the times he was down, he was down for Luke. He was like how, how many times he fucking saved everyone's asses. Do a montage of when he fucking left his family for the, the, the solo movie that nobody watched when um, there was a chance for him to run off and be with his people and he fucking was down for Han. How he was fucking down always, always down, always fucking down. <sighs> so do that montage where you just fucking get to the emotional core of how loyal this motherfucker is how f this is your fucking dog bitch this is your fucking guy this is if you ever wanted anyone on your side this is your guy you know ray and kylo ren are just going after the emperor laser beams and lightning bolts and lightsabers back and forth <laughs> they're winning the bad guys are winning you know what's gonna happen then we have fucking chewbacca gunning it gunning it in the fucking millennium falcon that's his car now fuck all you that's his car and he fucking rams it through the emperor's house and he's just you just see him you just see his feet you know the you just do all these artsy camera angles and cuts and edits and you just see this fuck, and he's just fucking screaming and he's growling and then he has fucking everyone's lightsabers you're telling me this motherfucker hangs out with Jedi's for hundreds of years? This fucker's 250 years old. He hung out with fucking Luke. He hung out with Ben Kenobi. And you're telling me this fucker didn't pick up any Jedi skills in 250 years? He knows how to drive. Are you fucking kidding me? Knights of Ren come out. He fucking cuts them all down. And you just keep it going. And while he's raging, you're still getting this montage cuts of all the times he was down all the times he fucking had to watch all his friends die when he saw han solo get lasered right in front of him and he screams and you just see him scream 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 cut 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 and he just fucking i was thinking of another thing of he's wearing a fucking mandalorian helmet because i know in the star wars universe there is a wookie mandalorian and you reveal that when you show his face but he is at this point a fucking jedi wookie and he fucking cuts the shit out of the fucking empire and he like maybe holds hands with ray and kylo and they do some force fucking move and instead of hearing all the jedis you see them they, you see force ghosts of everyone and you forget the fucking medal you let the fucking wookies win the wookies win star wars it's a war 
the Empire, the, who wins Star Wars? Chew fucking Baka. The Wookiees win Star Wars. And you let fucking Chewbacca, this new crazy ass looking Chewbacca, win. And he's got his laser sword. And he fucking did what Ray couldn't, what Luke could, what no one couldn't. What this fucking second class citizen that everyone fucking overlooked, that was minimized, this fucking minority, he's the hero. He fucking steps up to become the hero that no one else could be. He fucking wins Star Wars. I'm crying. This movie doesn't even happen. I'm cr someone make a fan film. I'm crying. I'm I'm standing standing ovation, scream crying, and everybody wins. Who wouldn't love that? Oh my God, the fans would be going crazy. The kids would love it. The adults would love it. The grandparents would love it. The box office would love it. It would make all the money in the world. You get these new fucking crazy ass Chewbacca action figures. <sighs> and then guess what? He gives motherfuckers medals. He gives them medals. <sighs> oh my God, I'm, I'm emotionally exhausted. Just, I, I would have to fix everything. I was, in, I was in my cave, just chilling, enjoying my life, getting healthy. You got to bring me back to fucking rewrite Star Wars. There's more. I got more. A Mandalorian Jedi Wookiee says, if Star Wars... <laughs> uh, I need a better writer to help fix how that, that would happen. But that would be fucking amazing. Because it would be too hard to watch this grotesque, melted version of Chewbacca because it would scare the kids you know because you got that one like weird melted eyeball staring at you and the other side's covered in fur so you'd get one look just to be like there's a gnarly ass looking fucking chewbacca but then you put the mandalorian helmet on top of him and you know mandalorians never take their helmets off and it would be a fucking dope one like like these uh coronavirus masks that people are making out of plastic bottles and shit something more like that like a homemade and then this is the way you know and then the movie ends with him going back to the Wookiee planet to celebrate on Life Day. <sighs> oh my god, I forgot a, a major, major part of the last part. Wouldn't it be sick if Anakin Skywalker trained Chewbacca in the Jedi? So Darth Vader is the one that trained. Remember when Bane gives his speech on the steps of like Wall Street through his mask? And it's like this fucking awesome speech, but like you can't even see his mouth. Sort of like Harry Kim in, in Thumbs Up or Silent Bob and in, in Jay and Silent Bob. You never hear the silent person. I mean, even though Chewbacca is talking all the time and you just have to guess what he's saying. You never, you've never <laughs> seen or heard a translation of Wookiee-ish, you know, whatever he's saying. And so wouldn't it be awesome after nine fucking movies, TV shows, that at the end when he fucking saves Kylo and Rey's ass... And he has the Emperor right at the end of his Wookiee Jedi sword and he's about to fucking slice and dice him. He does a fucking full-on monologue. You killed my fucking friends, you piece of shit. I'm gonna get emotional. Fuck. You killed my fucking friends. You killed my best friend. My fucking brother. My sister. And the whole speech is subtitled. How fucking amazing <laughs> Either subtitled or if they have some kind of like mouthpiece that they put on him and then it translates. He's still doing, but it's translating it into English and, and the voice is uh, Morgan Freeman. I don't know. That's too obvious. Pee Wee Herman, Bill Murray. I don't know. It would be amazing if at the end of all of this, and I think the audience is in at this point, if it went on for five minutes after, you know, how long is that movie? Three hours? different facial expressions eyebrows going up and down for five minutes with subtitles at the bottom oh god that would kill you know whoever the writer is take from the greatest speeches martin Luther king abraham lincoln just kill us like you killed my fucking friends you try to kill entire planets species and races and now i'm gonna fucking kill you and I'm gonna end this shit and have it be like inspirational and motivating, but at the same time, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Oh god, that would kill. That would be so awesome.